Hello, my community of achievers. I trust you're doing great wherever you are watching this from. My name is Mary and welcome to my channel. Oh, it's been a while and I'm glad to be back. Now, from the resumes I have received from you, I have realized that this could be why you are not getting interviews and jobs. So we shall go through tips uh, you can use to make your resume stand out. Have you subscribed yet? If not, kindly subscribe so you will be notified each time I share this thoroughly researched content to simplify your Canada immigration process. By the way, subscribing is free and a way of appreciating the content we share here. Now, today I shall share with you rating services we are offering for you to increase the probability of getting hired by 90%, so stick with me for a few minutes. To become a successful job applicant in Canada or anywhere you send job applications, you must present employers with a compelling resume and a cover letter. You might have heard me say that Canadian employers have a specific format for resumes or CVs. This is true since it keeps most important information about you at their disposal compellingly. More details on the format on the link above. The labor shortage in the country puts you at an advantage as a job seeker because Canada is looking for more employees outside the country and that is why they have so many pathways for you to migrate as a permanent resident. By the way, if you didn't know, you can change your visitor visa from a visitor visa into a work permit that will help you secure a job while you in Canada so make sure that you can do you you can use that if you have a visitor visa that you currently uh, use to visit the country although the demand for workers in Canada is high it doesn't mean you should be lenient in preparing your resume here are tips for writing the resume and increasing the probability of getting shortlisted for an interview by 80 to 95 percent tip number one Include the link of your LinkedIn profile. Digitization has increased and in this age, your LinkedIn profile represents your capabilities profoundly to potential employers. Research by Resume Go showed that resumes with LinkedIn profiles have 71% higher chances of being interviewed and hired. These resumes get a callback rate of 13.5% high compared to a 7 0.9% rate of resumes with no LinkedIn profiles. However, only 48% job seekers like you include these details. So starting today, include the link along with your email address and telephone and save your interview spot in your target company. But before you do this, make sure that the profile is attractive to get the employer interested in hiring you. Tip number two. Tailor your resume to suit the job application, aka the keywords. Employers are receiving application from left, right and center since most people are eyeing the job you are also targeting. The HR manager uses the applicant tracking system to reduce the time taken to review all these thousands of cover letters and resumes and the technology filters the resumes that do not match the job description while shortlisting those with relevant information. Unfortunately, data shows that candidates only match the keywords by just 51%. And I'm thinking this could be the reason you have not been getting the job interviews calls. Because if you have been sending to over 100 applications so far and you feel demotivated to create new resumes, then it means that you have been copy pasting the information you sent from one application to the other. According to this data, you should ensure that your resume has a balance of hard skills and soft skills. Hard skills are job related competences and abilities that are necessary to complete work. Soft skills are personal qualities and traits that impact how you work. Hard skills are often applicable to a certain career, while soft skills are transferable from any type of job. However, both are necessary for a successful career in any field. And that is why you should be able to balance them when you're writing your resume.
Pay attention to what these employers want from you and mirror the same in your default resume. Sometimes you will only need to tweak the information just a bit and your application will stand out 10 times better than your competitors. Tip number three. Use numbers to show your previous achievements. Employers prefer resumes with measurable metrics. This information gives them an idea of the contribution you can make to the company should they hire you. They use the data to quantify and understand your benefit to them. So make sure that you mention the accomplishments you have made in the past jobs. For example, you can say, you increased the company's sales by 50% or you helped the business save on fuel by 20% for the truck drivers. If you are a farm manager, you can say you helped the company acquire 200 new customers within three months. So this employer has a, an understanding of how much are you capable of doing to the business and within what period. Tip number four, keep the resume short. Keep your resume short unless you have multiple relevant experiences to show this employer. For entry-level jobs, employers prefer a resume of 475 to 600 words. Therefore, keep the words in this range if you are starting your career. For experienced and executive-level applicants, your resume should be a range of 3 to 5 pages. Employers have a limited time to go through all the information that you're going to include. So make sure that you only give them the most recent experiences first and you eliminate unrelated data. Great emphasis should be on the way your experience and education will benefit the current employer. For example, if you are sending an application as a truck driver, only include recent truck driving experience and tailor it to show your potential employer how you will solve their problems. Okay? You should not go in there in, with a mindset that they have a responsibility to hire you just because you are unemployed. You should face this resume writing with the perspective of you becoming a solution to the company you are targeting. In case you need more guidance on this, send an email for a free template to the email on the screen and I will send you the template that you can use to draft your own resume. Tip number five, grammar and tone of your resume. Resume should sell your experience instead of summarizing your qualifications. Therefore, remove all fluff and buzzwords to stand out from 51% of most applicants. I have received numerous resumes from you, my community of achievers, but sometimes the grammar and tone you use will make you lose the opportunity. You might have all the qualifications and experiences needed, but if you present it poorly, you will miss the mark. For this reason, consider spending a few dollars and getting professional assistance for your resume to match your experience and educational qualifications. We are offering professional resume and cover after writing and review services. If you want a professional resume writer to check your documents and help you identify areas to improve, send it to the email on the screen. If you do not have a resume and you would like us to assist you and provide compelling documents that will help get you hired, send all your relevant experiences and personal information on the email on the screen. Charges apply for writing and review services as follows. I will attach a screenshot of the charges and then some points to note, you will not be charged for extra money if you need corrections on the resume and cover letter after we have sent you the final copy. However, you must present your corrections within 48 hours of receiving the documents. In addition, the, charge, the charges should not change the scope of your first order. For example, if you had ordered a resume for a truck driver and now you want us to do a correction, you should not come back and say that now you are correcting it into a farm worker. It should be in the same truck driving resume. The professional resume and cover letter will be reusable in your application and this means that you will only need to change a few things to suit each employer, but the format and the majority of the information will remain the same. 
So the the payment processes will be via M-Pesa and I'll also attach the number applicable on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that this video has helped you see the, maybe the things that you have been missing in your resume and cover letter preparation uh, processes. And it will help you improve the process and the final document will get you 90 to 80 to 90 percent uh, higher into getting interviewed and getting the job. So until next time, bye bye.